Hi all, uh, in this screencast we're going to look at how to uh, take your GeoGebra files and embed them into Moodle. <clears throat> this is actually a really easy process with GeoGebra. Um, and let's start by just creating a, um, a GeoGebra page that um, maybe deals with something in circle geometry. So maybe I want to show my students the um, um, inscribed um, circumscribed angle theorem. So what I'm going to do is maybe because of the nature of what we're talking about, I don't really need a Cartesian grid, so I'm just going to drag this off the screen a little bit so that we've got a nice clear screen. I'll go ahead and pick my circle tool and I will uh, draw a circle. Um, now I'll go over here, grab my uh, line segment tool and uh, start with my uh, circumscribed angle, or sorry, central angle. And then landing on the same piece, I'll draw an inscribed angle. And now I just want to measure the, uh, the angle of each, so I'm just going to go on to my angle uh, measurement tool and pick, first of all, the three points in the middle. And then do the same thing, three points on the uh, um, inscribed angle and we can quickly see that uh, the inscribed angle is double the um, uh, central angle. Um, I can now pick my um, move tool and show that when I move that around um, that those numbers stay the same. I might actually want to uh, change my decimal places so on and so forth but this is generally what I want the students to play around with. It's just this, uh, this simple act of being able to move things around and show that they stay the same. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to begin by uh, switching off the um, um, algebra view and I can do that by just going up to my view menu and um, unchecking uh, algebra view and that uh, switches that off. Um, I'm just going to move this so that uh, it's kind of somewhat centered because uh, just more aesthetically pleasing that way. Now what I want to do is um, export this to my Moodle page. And in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my, uh, my menu and I'm going to, on my file menu, choose export. And there's a couple of different uh, options for export, but I'd like to do a dynamic uh, worksheet as a web page. A dialog box appears, and there's lots of information that I can uh, key into this, but if you're posting this to Moodle, you actually don't need to enter any of this. What you're going to do instead is go to the advanced page, and on this page all I need to do is decide, first of all, what, uh, what items do I want to, uh, to have on here? What do I want students to be able to do? Um, do I need a right click? No, I don't want them to change it. Um, do I want to be able to drag labels? No. Um, do I want to um, show an icon to reset the construction? Sure, that'll let them get back to uh, the start point. Uh, do I want them to show the menu bar? Not in this case. Uh, I don't want to show the toolbar. The toolbar is, of course, this thing here, which would allow me to uh, create new things on the page. Uh, the input bar is this thing here, so if I want to enter some functions, um, and at this point I don't really want to do that. Um, do I want to be able to save, print, or undo? Sure, I'll, I'll switch that on. And um, how big do I want it? Well, this is going to go onto a Moodle page, so it doesn't want to be too big, so I'm just going to change this maybe to a 500 by a 500 pixel square. Lastly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to this drop down and I'm going to change this to clipboard Moodle because I want to send this to a Moodle. So I select that, I click the button here that says clipboard, and now the contents of this are now ready to be pasted into my Moodle page. So now I open up my, uh, my Moodle page. And depending on whether you want this on the main screen or not, um, you'd either add a label if it's going to go on the main page or a uh, web page if you want to click into it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and insert a label. 
and it's going to say what would I like that label text to be and I've got my typical Moodle uh, what you see is what you get editor um, but rather than just uh, typing stuff into the editor I'm going to actually push this button here which says edit HTML when I do that you'll see that I get back to just plain, X, or plain HTML you don't have to actually know any HTML all you need to do is be able to right click in the space choose paste and you get this really long piece of code that appears that came from GeoGebra. You can ignore what it says, just go down to the bottom and press save and return to course. And now when you scroll to the bottom where you just posted that uh, content, you'll see that you have your uh, GeoGebra file um, embedded right in there, exactly the dimensions that we suggested, which was 500 by 500. Um, we had asked for the reset button, and the reset button is right there. It is right in the middle page, and the students can actually grab it, um, move it around, manipulate it, um, <coughs> and compare um, how, uh, how changing the values uh, maintains the same property. This can actually be done in a number of ways. If you um, actually leave your toolbars on or your menu bars on, um, you could actually have a fully functional version of GeoDebar running right out of your uh, Moodle page doing exactly the same process. If you have any questions on how to do this um, or have some ideas that you'd like to share, feel free to, uh, to contact me.